Hello family, this is just a quick update for the month of July and um, what we have coming up in July. So in June, we've been having a lot of really intense energies and a lot of us have noticed discomfort in the body, just some different symptoms that are kind of uncomfortable, moments of extreme intense emotions and also extreme fatigue and exhaustion. So there's different reasons this is happening. And part of it is um, our preparation for what's coming up in July. So we have a breakdown cycle and then we have a breakthrough cycle. So we've talked about the breakdowns and breakthroughs a lot on this channel. And it's necessary for our new identity to emerge. So we manifest through our identity, right? And that's what we believe ourselves to be. But when we hold on to a lot of trauma, we end up having trauma that is a filter that we create through, which is why it's really important to do the purging that's been happening and really face the difficult stuff and do that inner work. So we've been in this cycle where we feel like uh, making major changes, right? And change can happen quickly, but lasting and true change sometimes takes a while for it to really sink in. Okay, so we're kind of retraining ourselves now to be um, in this higher consciousness rather than running these old programs that were associated with the darker grid or the um, reversal grids that we've been in through a variety of different ways. So while we're going through this process coming up in July, and also we've been in it in June, but we feel like leaving things behind or a major personality shift. And this is because we've been asking for something greater. You can't stay the same and change at the same time, right? So in order to become who you want to be, you have to let certain aspects of who you were go. And it doesn't mean you have to let everything go. It just means that if you hold yourself to be a victim and you want to be empowered, you have to change the way you view yourself, right? You have to change the way that you talk about yourself and how you perceive yourself in the world. And then also how the world occurs to you. You have to examine that. And so it's these types of changes that are coming up in July and um, really in June, July, August, and even into September. So a lot of people have been wanting something different, and this is not new. This is something on this planet we've been asking for something greater, but we've been caught up in these time loops that have been orchestrated by these controllers. And the controllers have been placing us in these time loops because they harvest our energy. Okay, we've talked about that on this channel quite a bit too, so I'm not gonna go into the ways that they're doing that now. Just know that they have been but we have new energies coming in that are starting to shift to that. And it is because of our greater asking, you know? So we as humans create the timelines. We imprint the timelines with our intentions and our attention. And because we've been asking for something greater, the timelines have been shifting for a while. We have universal energies coming in. So it's really important to give yourself and to give others room to grow. This is going to be so necessary because we make a lot of mistakes. As humans, we make mistakes, but we learn from them, right? And if we hold that against each other, the mistakes that we've made, then we're just poisoning ourselves and we're poisoning the collective energy by holding a grudge. When you hold a grudge against somebody, it hurts them and it also hurts you, but it actually hurts you more than it hurts them. And the reason is because you're feeling this in your body. You're thinking about it in your mind. And your body and your mind together produce feelings that imprint the timelines. So if you hold a grudge against somebody and you don't forgive them, then you're actually imprinting more of that into your own timelines, which I highly recommend to uh, avoid doing, okay? So many of these changes that are taking place, um, we've we've been preparing for this major transition, okay? We've been preparing for a new way of being with each other on the planet that is more peaceful, it's more symbiotic, and it's where we can have a win-win scenario instead of a win-lose. So we've been operating from polarity for quite some time. And while polarity is not a bad thing, 
it's very important to be able to balance the polarity, okay? Because there's a center point in, in the polarized energies. And it's this center point that we want to find ourselves in, okay? So that's what I call neutrality, being balanced within yourself. I don't mean, with neutrality, when I talk about neutrality, I don't mean standing by and watching bad things happen. I mean getting into your center and operating from that space. Okay, so that's a common misconception I think that people have when I say neutrality, it means do nothing. That's not what it means to me at least. So when we are operating from that centered space, we are able to receive higher consciousness in a greater way. So when we're operating from a negative space, we drop our energies down into lower vibrations, right? So we operate from that lower space, meaning we don't have access to the same higher energies than if we were operating from a balanced space. We don't want to go to one extreme or the other. And an example of that is where you think everything is wrong or vice versa, you think everything is right, you know? So we have to be careful for spiritual bypassing where it's like, I'm not going to pay attention to anything negative at all ever because it just doesn't exist in my world. Well, while it's good to pay attention to positivity and to think positive and all of that, and I'm not saying dwell in negative, but it's important to acknowledge that there are some pretty horrific things going on on the planet and there are a lot of people suffering and we can do something about it. Now, operating from that centered space again, how can I shift this? How can I change this? What can I do to make this world a better place? Those are some things that you can take on, but ignoring that other people are suffering, it doesn't help. It really doesn't because um, it's important to understand that we have all these different points of view, right? And to help people shift out of those points of view means to acknowledge that that point of view exists in the first place, okay? So with the grid systems that we're in, we have this new energy starting to come in. So we know that we're multidimensional beings and we've been working on our multidimensional template for some time. It's this multidimensional template that gives us access to our higher consciousness. And that higher consciousness is the multidimensional consciousness, not just the fifth dimensional, multidimensional, right? So with the universal grid system, the earth has been operating in quarantine for a very long time. And this is where the time looping comes in. And so I'll do a different video on timelines um, later this month. And for now, I just wanna keep this short for you so you know what to prepare for. Unity is something that is a choice for all of us now. We can choose to unite. Now we're uniting within ourselves, our light body and our multidimensional template. And we're also uniting within the world. And this means that you're not choosing to view yourself as separate from other people, as separate from other beings like, oh, well, too bad for them and good for us, you know? We don't need to stay in that because we are, we're one big family here. Even if we don't agree on things or we don't share the same beliefs, we can still get along and we can still show each other respect and support and care. And this is where the unity grid is available for those who choose it. But you have to choose it if you want that, right? So anything you choose in your own self, so if you choose to unite your energies in your own self, your polarized energies, right? You're going to start to see that in the world around you, but it does take that inner work. Now, if you're holding a very polarized point of view about this being good and that being bad, it's important to start to ask yourself a series of questions like, why do I believe that's bad and I'm right and they're wrong? Or, you know, things like that. So that way you can start to recognize that there's different points of view and there's multiple different ways to express yourself in this reality. But unity is something that we could all come together in and recognize it's okay to be different. It doesn't mean we have to fight or that we're wrong. Okay? So... Despite things kind of looking grim in many ways, a lot of this is just done because the controllers are trying to get you to imprint the timelines, okay? 
there is a beautiful reality available to us and like I said we are the ones that co-create it together so what type of reality do you want to create and what are you putting your energy into now so some of the things coming up um, the symptoms we're going to be reliving past timeline moments and this is to wrap up and have completions in many areas of our life but this can make us feel like we're going back into old patterns or digressing okay don't be afraid if that's happening just keep asking yourself the questions of how can I shift this what can I do to change this how can I relive this and make a different choice so that this is complete how can I become complete with this what can I do with this energy to contribute to the greater good you know just kind of questions like that and so it may be childhood traumas that come back around it may be past patterns it may be people that come back around to have completions with or it may be something that you felt like you've done before okay and then this is because we're really wrapping up major completion cycles that um, we haven't been able to face before or that we've gone through you know those negative patterns in your life where you're like great here I am again it's that stuff that we're wrapping up right now and this can be in any area of your life it can be careers it can be family it can be relationships it can be belief systems you know I've had my beliefs change so many different times and I'm willing to change them as new information comes in. But my goodness, when you think you know what's going on, <laughs> you get new information and it's really like putting a puzzle together. So if you're going through stuff like that too, don't worry. It can be discombobulating and disconcerting within yourself and your energies, but it's okay. Change is the constant. So some more of these symptoms that we have coming up start to notice that you're getting guidance from higher levels you're gonna tune in and get it from within yourself not really from unseen beings that you don't know that you've heard are cool okay so really it's more about tuning in and getting the information from within your multi-dimensional template because you exist in multiple dimensions and you have awareness that is far greater than any beings that are limited in their awareness within their multi-dimensional template right so you have your higher self i call the higher self the source avatar too because it's the highest level of you that has access to all knowing so some people are starting to tap into that level and releasing the doubt and starting to really stream from that level and then that contributes to the entire collective here so some of the things to pay attention for when you're dealing with um, different things coming up in the mind control grid, we've got the ringing in the ears and the high pitched hiss. Those are not good symptoms. Okay, those will be happening, but that's part of the AI grid system and part of the reason that they've been gathering so much data on you and all of that. And so be aware that when you get that ringing in the ears, it can be implants that are creating mind control programs or creating some type of script for you to follow. And we can go into this deeper at another time. I just wanted to make you aware that, you know, not everything that seems like it's an ascension symptom is because some of it is actually uh, the pushback against your natural ascension that's taking place from the universal energies that are starting to pour into our grid now. Anyways, that's what I have for you. You can get the extended version of this video on my Patreon and um, there's lots of other stuff there too. And the link is on my website if you'd like to check that out. And I also have some guided meditations available for download and some other wonderful things there too. So thank you so much and I wish you the best month of July and I will be back soon with another video. Much love friends.